What's going on guys and welcome back to another Mad 23 all 32 gameplay. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is a series where I play with all 32 teams in Madden, aka the NFL, and I'm just in search of the perfect playbook on offense and defense that fits my play style the best. Now, ultimately, what I'll probably end up doing is making a custom playbook involving some of my favorite plays, but for now, I'm just trying to find that one specific playbook on offense and defense that fits my style the best. So far, we played with the Commanders, the Bears, the Bengals, and the Bills, and now today we are here with the Denver Broncos going up against the Dallas Cowboys. So you know I'm going to be trying hard this game. We're sitting in the blitz off the edge, and Dak Prescott is unable to get rid of it. He ends up going down, taking a sack, brings up a third down to 22 from the 10-yard line. Dak Prescott drops back to throw one more time, running out, of, uh, running out of time, and that should have been an interception, but we end up going for the SWAT. So, yeah, to this point, I've already, already played with the Commanders, the Bears, the Bengals, and the Bills. Out of those four, play, or, uh, out of those four teams, the best playbooks for me so far are – I mean, I like the Bills playbook. I, if I had to rank them, I'd go Bills, then I would go Bengals, and then I'd go Bears and the Commanders, just so everything in reverse, like I just said. That's just strictly for offense. Defensive-wise, um, I don't know. I really don't like either of them, but if I had to pick one, I'd say I'd go with the Bengals. But anyways, we're starting things off here on offense with Russell Wilson, who is the new quarterback here of the Denver Broncos. This is kind of awkward to see. I'm not going to lie. But first down to 10, Russell Westbrook. Uh, Russell Westbrook. Russell Wilson ends up finding his receiver, Jerry Judy, makes the catch and skirts his way all the way down to the 10-yard line. First down to 10 from the 10. Wilson's going to hand this ball off to his running back, who has a huge lane. And, oh, he just stopped just short of the goal line at the three second down and goal from the three yard line Wilson under center here he's going to hand it off to the running back Williams one more time this time he has no trouble getting into the end zone for the first Denver Broncos touchdown of the game so video question of the day for you guys what is it that you're looking for in an offensive playbook type your answer down below do you guys just rock with whatever your favorite team is like me I like the commanders do you just would you just rock with the commanders playbook me personally, I like a playbook that has like a lot of RPOs and jet sweeps and stuff. So like those are the type of playbooks I look for. That's why I like the Bills first and foremost. And I really like Ronald Darby on this play. Steps in front of that Dak Prescott pass, intercepted it, and the Denver Broncos are going to start this next possession here on the 15-yard line. Russell Wilson and the shotgun formation draws back to throw. I really like the way this play looked. I wanted to throw, throw that one to the running back out of the backfield on that little post route but i didn't think that i was going to be able to get that over top of the cornerback so i ended up checking it down underneath there to the slot receiver and then we end up punching it into the end zone with the running back anyways so i'm really kind of liking this denver broncos offensive playbook a little bit they have some like little funky plays that i like um like that play i just talked about before where it looked like the running back was coming out of the backfield and doing a deep corner route that play looked awesome i ran that in the red zone specifically because i thought that maybe i could be able to get something going to that running back but defense played it good i didn't want to force anything and made a great decision there with russell uh westbrook i mean russell wilson god i keep calling that man uh westbrook anyways first down and 10 dak prescott is th still throwing interceptions to ronald darby again he won at cd lamb and ronald darby let me find out that this man is some kind of a lockdown corner. I end up having to trade for him in one of my franchises. Now first down to 10. You see we're going back to that same play we try to run in the red zone. This time we're able to connect with the running back. But Wilson led him a little bit too much to the right there. He makes the catch in bounds, but is unable to turn it upfield because it looked like we might have been able to sneak into the end zone. If not, get at least another 10 to 15 more yards. First down handoff goes to the running back, Williams. Doesn't really go nowhere. Gets a gain of three. Second down to seven here from the 38-yard line. Wilson back to throw one more time. Feeling a little bit of pressure. Able to get this ball away to a tight end whose name I'm not even going to attempt to try to pronounce. But a great catch by him. Gets the ball down to the 24-yard line. A handoff goes to the backup running back, Melvin Gordon, who makes a nice cut outside. Picks up the first down. Gets this ball down to the 11-yard line. First down and 10 here for Wilson one more time. Firing across the middle. Finds a wide open Jerry Judy in the back of the end zone. Toe Jag swag for Jerry Judy and a 21 point lead here for the Denver Broncos. And I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing in this playbook so far. I'm really liking the play that I have with the running back out of the backfield where I can send him on the corner route. That last play where I hit the tight end with the unpronounceable name, that's one of my that's been one of my go-to plays since like Madden 20 or 21, I believe. So there's some heat in this playbook. There's some plays that I'm familiar with, and there's also some plays that 
I'm not so familiar with. But what there isn't is the Wildcat, which is clearly in the Dallas Cowboys playbook, unless my opponent has found a playbook of his own that he'd like to use. But this defense isn't looking so good right here. That was 100% my fault. I was using her in the free safety. I thought that the cornerback would be able to sit with, uh, stay, uh, stick with CeeDee Lamb. But, yeah, just horrible user there on me. And the Cowboys get their first touchdown of the day. You know I would just love nothing more than to shut up the Dallas Cowboys. I am a Washington Commanders fan. I cannot stand anything Cowboys. I hate when anybody uses the Cowboys. But I love when Washington breaks free here on the ensuing kickoff return. This is at the 10 to 5, and he's into the end zone. Nobody is going to touch him. What a way to bounce back. Great return there for a touchdown. I think his name is Montreal Washington or something like that. Correct me down in the comment section if I'm wrong. But the Dallas Cowboys still find themselves in a 21-point deficit here in Jerry World. And that makes things even better, man. Like, I'm beating the Cowboys for one, like, and I'm doing it in their home stadium. So that's just me personally. Are, do you guys have teams that you just, like, really despise? Or am I the only person that feels this type of way about the Cowboys whenever they play them in Madden? No matter who I'm using, I just want to beat the Cowboys. I want to see the Cowboys lose. Anyways, back to the gameplay. Hurry up offense here for the Cowboys after the run for a first down by Zeke. And Dak Prescott is under pressure, ends up going down, takes a sack, loses seven yards in the process. Second down at 17 from the 35-yard line. Prescott with a play-action fake this time. Looking to scan the field, feeling pressure, tries to escape out of the pocket, and there is nowhere for him to go. Ends up taking another sack on this drive. Now third down and 20. We're going to continue the pressure, and Dak is folding under it. Throws his third interception. This time he throws it to Jackson. Queen Jackson coming up with the interception. Now first down from the 37-yard line. Wilson wanted to take a shot of his own. Doesn't see anything that he likes. Tries to scramble around to buy a little bit of time. And ends up going down, taking a sack, losing six yards. Second down to 16. Wilson back to throw one more time. Dangerous throw here for the running back out of the backfield. Double coverage. That ball is almost tipped to a third uh, receiver or defender. Brings up a third down to 16 after the incompletion there on second down. Wilson back to throw one more time. Route bounce there ends up finding KJ Hamler oh my goodness that was some Madden being on our side there that was just an amazing grab there by Hamler first down to 10 here from the red zone Russell Wilson one play ends up finding his tight end with the unpronounceable name in the back of the end zone ends up getting a touchdown and this game is getting out of control and my opponent sees it coming also there's nothing he can do to stop us so you know what why not? I don't blame him for what he's about to do right here. He's quitting out the game. So you know what we do. Whenever situations like this come up, we're going to go ahead and mark that one down in the win column. I believe that might be our second rage quit or our third rage quit of this, of this of this series so far. So kudos to us. And we're going to go ahead and hop into another game. This time we have Broncos versus Chargers. Hamler is going to bring this ball out the end zone. Probably shouldn't, but hey, it's Madden 23. And like I said before, I feel good about taking the ball out of the end zone this year. Like, I don't know what it is, but I feel dangerous every single time I take the ball out of the end zone. Second down to three, handoff here goes to the backup running back, Melvin Gordon, goes nowhere. But they end up giving us a generous yard. We really went nowhere with that one. As we go nowhere on the RPO bubble read, fourth down to six here for Russell Wilson. Has a man open in the middle of the field. It's Jerry Judy, but what and what? Like, what the heck is going on here? They get the interception and immediately lateral and backwards. Shouldn't have been an interception in the first place. Jerry Judy was wide open, sat down on his route in front of the defender, and somehow the ball went right through his hands magically and was intercepted by the Chargers. So whatever it is, it is what it is. Third down and three here for Justin Herbert from the 38-yard line. Draws back to throw, feeling a little bit of pressure, has time to read, gets hit as he's throwing the ball. That one's going to fall incomplete. The Chargers say this is four down territory. Fourth down and three from the 38-yard line. Herbert back to throw, under pressure, able to get this ball away. Ends up finding his tight end, Gerald Everett, who makes the catch. Ends up getting tackled at the 29-yard line, and this Chargers drive is still alive. Play action fake here for Herbert. Ends up connecting with his wide receiver, Keenan Allen, on a nice little out route. Gains nine yards. They are on the doorstop of the red zone. Handoff goes to Austin Eckler, and he was stopped there for a second. Powered through one tackle and is still right there at the 20-yard line. 
Third down and one here from the 20. Herbert back to throw again. Ends up going across the middle for Allen. That ball is swatted away and it leads to another fourth down situation. Handoff here goes to Austin Eckler who looked like he was stopped for the moment but somehow breaks free. Eckler inside the five. Finally brought down at the two yard line. First down and goal here from the two yard line. Two yards away. Handoff goes to Austin Eckler and he finds himself going backwards. Ends up losing two yards to the four yard line. Second down and goal. Herbert back to throw. Can't find anybody ends up finding her, uh, Austin Eckler at the last second. This, but he dives backwards, right back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and goal. It's a keeper here by Justin Herbert, and he stunts his way into the end zone. And at this point, you know what? I can't believe that I literally just gave up another freaking read option to Justin Herbert. Like, I can't believe I forgot about this again. So this time, you see me, I did it on the screen. I changed it to conservative. I swear, if I give up a single, like, if I give up one more read option run to Justin Herbert, like, I'm just going to lose it. Like, I'm, there's, there's nothing to say. I'm just going to lose it. Because I, if you guys follow along in the series, you know how annoying that was. What was that, the Bengals or the Bills series where we went up against the Chargers and Justin Herbert just completely torched us with, their, with his legs. And I'm just like, I can't believe that happened. I won't let that happen again. But from now on, anytime I play the freaking Chargers, I'm putting this, like, the read option, the option defense on conservative. And I refuse, I mean refuse to give up a rushing touchdown to Justin Herbert. And we throw an interception right here back to the Chargers. Russell Wilson, I don't know what I thought I saw there. I think the pressure just got there and was just another panic throw. And those are never good. They never end well for me. Leads to an interception. Now the, the Chargers take over with the 30-yard line with the ball. Oh, big hit there on the running back. As he makes the catch in the flats, get, picks up seven yards. Second down and three here from the 23. Herbert back to throw one more time. Has Austin Eckler, no, Keenan Allen wide open there in the flats. Why is Allen wide open in the flats? Like, how do we forget? Like, I mean, okay, if we would have forgot the running back in the flats there, I would have understood things. But that's Keenan Allen. Like, someone needs to be on that man at all times. Second down and goal here. Two-minute warning just hit. Herbert back to throw, feeling some pressure, and he's going to go down, unable to get rid of it. Ends up getting sacked by Jones, the big defensive tackle. Third down and goal here from the 13-yard line. Herbert looking to make some magic happen, looking for something. And the end zone ran out of time. He gets sacked once more. Fourth down and goal. The Chargers aren't going to try this one. They'll take their three points that they've, I guess, rightly, rightfully earned. That's what we're going to allow them to take. We kept them out of the end zone from the goal line. Goal line. Now with 52, uh, 52 seconds left here in the second quarter, we'll see what Russell Wilson is able to do. Like I said before about this play that I'm about to run, this is an old play I used to run back in Madden, like 20, I swear. Like this play used to be one of my favorite. End up hitting the unpronounceable tight end across the middle, picks up 10, make maybe 14 yards on that one. Denver's going to call their first timeout, we, or their second timeout. We have one left here. Russell Wilson feeling the pressure, dumps this one down quickly to Gordon in the flats. And we really go nowhere. Second down and four here. Russell Wilson back to throw. Trying to scan the field. Ends up somehow finding a way to slide that one in there to Jerry Judy in between two defenders at the 41-yard line with 34 seconds left. Now we need to get the ball out of bounds. We have no timeouts left, but whew, almost didn't have to worry about that as we almost threw an interception. I don't know if that was Derwin James, but I know he was in the area. Second down and 10. Wilson going for Cortland Sutton, and that ball is going to be intercepted. I believe that's J.C. Jackson over there. He comes away with his second interception of the day. 23 seconds left. The Chargers are going to hand this ball off to Austin Eckler, see if he can make some halftime or before halftime magic happens. Ends up gaining nine yards. Three seconds left. Play action fake here by Herbert, and he's going down. Takes another sack. This time it's Simmons coming from his safety position. Ends up getting him for the sack. And, I mean, this is not a horrible situation. We're down 10. I mean, the Chargers do get the ball to start the second half. But I feel confident with this Denver Broncos defense. Like, spoiler alert, I really do like the Broncos defense. Like, um, this is actually one of the defenses that I'm – or the this is the defensive playbook that I'm running in my Patriots franchise. If you guys haven't checked that one out, I will try to remember to link it down below in the description. There's a playlist that I have for that as well as my All-32. If you all want to get caught up on this series and see if I played it any of your other favorite teams that link will also be down below i have to get better with that i've been promising that i'll put that link down there but i have not been following through so i will improve I, my apologies for those of you that have actually looked for the playlist and see that it's not linked down below anyways first down and 10 here for justin herbert ends up finding his receiver williams and makes the catch for 10 yards but well not really apparently with only 10 and 10 yards or nine yards and what 11 inches 
brings up a second down the entrance. Handoff goes to Austin Eckler, picks that up with no problem at all. First and 10, there's a problem here as Justin Herbert goes down, ends up getting sacked for almost 10, make that nine yards there. Second down to 19, uh, says no problem at all. I'll just hit my tight end. He will he'll make, make a couple guys miss, break a few tackles, and he'll get brought down at the 11 yard line. I'm not sure what happened there. Like that was just crazy like just just crazy I don't know a better way to describe that and oh my gosh what a stiff arm there by Austin Eckler assured asserting himself just made that big 300 pound defensive tackle look like he's nothing and oh my gosh Gerald Everett gets his way into the end zone with the help of Bradley Chubb who instead of pulling him backwards decided to tackle him forward into the end zone I kind of wonder like how do you trigger that um tackle animation where you guys pull back like where the guys pull them away from the end zone or pull them away from the first down marker because that really would have came in key there anyways first down and 10 russell wilson feeling pressure that's not there decides to take off with this one gains three yards second down and seven here wilson back to throw one more time ends up finding Cortland sutton on the sideline makes the catch toe drag swag gets him out of bounds at the 45 yard line 50 second mark here in the th uh, third quarter Threads the needle there to the unpronounceable tight end name. Ends up picking up the first down across midfield. Gets uh, brought down at the 43-yard line. Wilson under pressure there but from Khalil Mack, who is also here on this Chargers defensive line, which is crazy as well. Ends up getting uh, an incomplete pass there. Ends up going right back to Cortland Sutton here on second down and 10, who makes the catch. Gets brought down at the 21-yard line. We are now in the fourth quarter, and the Broncos have still yet to put any points up on the board, which is just crazy at this point second down of 10 after a wild throw away there on first down wilson back to throw feeling the pressure for, here from khalil mack can't get away from him and mack ends up bringing down russell wilson for a loss of nine yards leads to a third down and 19 wilson back to throw one more time goes back to the unpronounceable tight end who makes a nice catch in traffic there gets us to a fourth down and 11 i guess that's more manageable i guess you can call that fourth and manageable with this team wilson going for the end zone and somehow sutland makes that catch at the two yard line first down and goal here from the two yard line you see i'm running an rpo here we end up throwing the bubble to jerry judy who dances into the end zone untouched so i am getting better at playing this game as we are iced for whatever reason here we're down 17 points now 11 make that 10 points now and we're kicking ice field goals okay but anyways, like I was saying, I feel like I am getting better at this year's game. Um, knock on wood, I have stopped holding on to left trigger, thinking that it's low-balling the pass. But one thing that I've learned about this year's game is you don't really have that much time as you did in years past to decide to throw the ball away. Like, before, I probably could have gotten a quick throwaway animation there and avoided that sack from McCleal Mack. This year, it feels like you got to go through your reads, you see the pressure coming, and then you got to make that conscious decision to say, okay, nobody's open and nobody's going to get open. I need to throw this ball away because if you wait too long to throw the ball away, man, those throw the ball away animations are something crazy. Like, I don't know if it's like that for everybody, but the past, like, the, in the couple games that I played, it feels like. Yeah, I got to make this decision quick, fast, and in a hurry if I have someone open or if I have nobody and I need to just get rid of this before I take a sack. Anyways, third down is two here for Justin Herbert. Ends up checking this ball down to Austin Eckler in the flats. Ends up getting tapped down for a loss of two yards, I believe, on the play. Fourth down to four, the Chargers are going to punt this ball away. And there's a smidget of hope. The window is cracked. Let's put it that way. There's a chance that the Denver Broncos can get themselves back into this game but we're going to need a lot to go our way. First down, we don't get that. We're looking for Jerry Judy, and somehow Russell Wilson ends up throwing the ball over his head. Second down to 10, we try to go over Court and Sutton with that one play that we've been running way too often, and it's going to be intercepted. I believe that was J.C. Jackson again getting his third interception of the day with one minute and 27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's, it's a GG's. It's a wrap for this game. I mean, there's nothing we can do. That He's handing the ball off to Austin Eckler, and he's getting a, almost a first down, getting six yards, second down to four. That would have been our option right there. If we could have gotten an interception, that would have been great. But we don't. At least a third down to four. The Chargers still have the ball. Justin Herbert back in the shotgun formation. He drops back, has time to scan the field, ends up going across the middle of the field to Williams, who makes the catch, and he gets a first down. But yeah, so that's going to be the end of this game. Clearly, we're going to drop down to 5-2. and two, But my final thoughts on the Denver Broncos playbook is it's pretty good. I mean, I didn't dive as deep as I probably should have into the offensive side. I kind of got stuck with a few plays and ran them over and over and over again. And 
clearly shouldn't have done that. But this defense, I really do like the defensive plays here on the Denver Broncos playbook. So leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more All-32 and more Madden 23 franchise gameplays. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.